What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here and welcome back for another episode of Free From Fab, where I review the free for a short time assets off of Fab. Every two weeks, Fab offers three different asset packs free of charge and whether you're a budding indie game developer or a 3D artist or just someone who wants to add to their library of assets, these are most definitely worth checking out. In this video, I'll give you a brief rundown of what's included in this Fortnite's free asset packs, as well as share a few of my own thoughts on their utility and their quality. But just before we get started, guys, if you want to supercharge your Unreal learning experience, I'm very excited to announce that we've added two new tiers of Patreon membership for added support. And for a limited time, we're offering 50% off your first month's subscription to these new tiers. Benefits range from basic access to our private Discord server, Mizzo's Dizzo, for just $1.50 per month, to perks such as gaining unlimited access to our integrated AI assistant and even prioritized support from members of Team Pitchfork on the Plus tier, and even monthly 60-minute one-on-one consultations with myself or Velocity on our highest tier, Deluxe. Once again, you can get 50% off your first month of these higher tiers for a limited time. So you can get, for example, a one hour consultation for just $25 to help you with your Unreal Engine project. And you could always cancel your subscription if you wanted to avoid paying any more. Or if you're not in a position to support us in that way, you're always welcome to join our free public Discord server, The Pitchfork Academy which is a melting pot of developers where you can connect with the broader community. You can find the links to Patreon as well as our public Discord in the description and the pinned comment. But without further ado, let's take a look at these assets. Alrighty guys, now as you can see here, this Fortnite's assets are freely available until Jan 27th at 9.59 Eastern Time. And this go around, we've got Necropolis Graveyard Kit by Cryptic Realms. Sci-Fi Mech by Despazio and Fantasy Props by Haridon. So let's jump on in and take a look at the Graveyard Kit by Cryptic Realms. It says here in the description guys that this high quality graveyard set includes a large amount of handcrafted placeables, 371 in the form of meshes, foliage, blueprint actors, or level blueprints. And that it has been optimized to be game ready, out of the box, and all foliage and trees have wind animation, which brings the scene to life. But guys, that brief description doesn't really do the demo level justice, because the amount of attention to detail that's gone into this is absolutely astounding. Not only is the demo level absolutely massive, like very expansive, almost like you could set, you know, an entire section of a Dark Souls game in this one demo level, but it also has multiple lighting settings. It has sound effects, fog, particles, and just a huge variety of set pieces around this level. Like nothing looks copy pasted. It is very, very impressive. I think this might be the most impressive demo level I've seen in one of these free environmental asset packs. The only criticism I have about it is that when you add this to a project, there's a couple of dependencies that are kind of missing and blueprints that are broken, such as the missing soundscapes plugin and some physical materials for like different sound effects as you walk around. And I'd probably recommend to the developer shipping this as a kind of downloadable project rather than something you can add to a project, just so that people get the full sense of this demo level, you know, with everything working right out of the box and not having to work to sort of set up these plugins and surface types and whatnot to, you know, get the full experience. But with that being said, I can see the amount of work that's gone into this and I'm very, very impressed. I'm gonna be giving this one five stars on Fab. And if you could use Necropolis Graveyard Kit by Cryptic Realms, or in fact, any of the multitudes of assets that come inside of this pack, I highly recommend you pick it up while it's free from Fab. 
Next up, guys, we have Sci-Fi Mech by Despazio. It says here in the technical details that the skeletal mesh has six limbs, four arms and two legs, roughly 110,000 tries at LOD zero. It includes control rig asset with FKIK switch to customize, create or tweak existing epic skeleton animations. And I was very impressed to read that it also includes a retargeted basic third person character blueprint and anim bp so i had to see for myself what that looked like and i wasn't surprised to find that the character blueprint had the old input mapping nodes so it didn't work right out of the box but i had to see this in action so i copy pasted all the functionality from the template third person character over into this character blueprint and also swapped out the player controller class so that I had the input mapping context and could play as this character, which I thought was pretty cool. I also wanted to check out the IK rig asset. And while I couldn't see and access the controls in sequencer, I cracked open the IK rig and it does all seem to be working in there. There's a few warnings on some of the nodes, but the controls appear in the preview and are accessible. So I'm not really sure how to access them in Sequencer, but I'm sure you'd be able to figure it out. All that being said, I think this guy looks pretty cool and he reminds me a little bit of your little robot companion from Starfield. The slightly annoying niggles beside, I'm gonna give Sci-Fi Mech by Despazio five stars on Fab. And if you could use this in any of your projects, I highly recommend you pick it up while it's free. And lastly, guys, we have Fantasy Props by Haradon. It says here in the technical details that it comes with 53 meshes that utilize 22 materials and material instances comprised of 379 textures, ranging from 2K to 4K. And just taking a quick look at the triangle counts of these meshes, guys, they range from in the 200s up to about 3,800. And straight off the bat, guys, my biggest criticism with this pack is that it doesn't come with an overview level. I had to actually drag these assets out into a level myself, which only took about five minutes. But if it only takes about five minutes, I don't see why the developer wouldn't include it. And obviously with the stylistic choices on these assets, this is a very niche kind of use case. But with all that being said, I don't see anything wrong with them. They come with a few different color settings. And if the stylistic design of these assets fits any kind of project and you could use them, absolutely pick them up while they're free from fab. I'm going to be giving this one five stars. But that's to say nothing of the price of this asset pack when it's not free. And that's going to be about it from me for this one, guys. If this video has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.